You know, in the Harvey Norman Lounge, we are joined by our favourite beauty editor, Trudy Brewer, who is here to share some perfect scents for spring. See what we did there? Did. And her fragrance do's and don'ts as well. Morning, Trudy. Nice intro. Perfect, perfect scents. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I don't have to explain it, do I? <laughs> I've over explained the joke now. Uh, can we just quickly clear up why we no longer are calling these perfumes in the beauty world? Look, I think perfume is a very old-fashioned word, um, and perfume is the composition of scent that has the most oil or the most extract in it. So nowadays fragrances are lighter and fresher with a lot less oil in them. So I think that that is really historic. It's not a mistake to call something a perfume. It's just probably a little bit more modern to call something a fragrance. I a think. fragrance, okay. Yeah. And we love, I, I don't leave the house without my fragrance on because I feel like I'm not dressed properly. Yeah, and I know a lot of women like that and it's really important, you know. It, yeah. it says something about you, the fragrance you wear. It does. So what is hot with spring fragrances? Look, there is a real move towards fruity and woody and um, we were just talking earlier about how fragrance is becoming a lot more unisex you know and when I mean what I mean by unisex is you could wear your husband's fragrance or your partner's fragrance and probably get away with it whereas many years ago you couldn't it was a lot drier and a lot more sort of tobacco-y and mm. a lot more heavy whereas now and men can too and I think Calvin Klein broke that mold with CK and were the first to sort of say in the 90s it's okay to wear a fragrance that's designed for a man and now there are a lot of fragrances a women's fragrance is one in particular that I bought in today that are actually more like a men's composition in the, in the ingredient lineup but they're okay on a woman's skin yeah and also it's, it seems that different people wear their fragrances differently like it can smell quite different on you as to what it smells on somebody else's skin and never ever make the mistake of smelling your friend and thinking oh you smell great I'll wear that fragrance too because it is going to smell completely different on you isn't it funny it is um, is there a trend or does anything go in spring? look anything goes I think you know, a lot of people are worried about wearing too much fragrance, but I think if you find the right fragrance, it doesn't matter how much you wear. It's when you're wearing a fragrance that doesn't quite gel with the oil on your skin, mm -hmm. or you're not confident to wear it. And if you're not confident to wear a fragrance, then it is going to be awkward and not smell great on you. Mm, and it does change over time too, doesn't it? It, it? changes over time. Um, I've got this little rule that during the day I wear my fragrances quite low on my body because our sense of smell is quite heightened. And by we've by so a spray around my knees and on my clothing but below the waist really, um, even around your feet and your legs. And then for evening, I wear my fragrance a lot higher on my body because by that time, your sense of smell is, has been introduced to a lot of things during the day and it's been bombarded with smell. So you need something that you can actually have that sense of smell in the evening. I did not know that, Trudy. Yeah, that's well, very interesting. I mean, and it does work. And also for evening on the pulse points, which is a classic. Mm. But... Um, the one thing about the day fragrance is heat rises in the body, so if it's lower during the day, it's not so cloying and you don't go, oh, I've put too much fragrance on because right. it's a lot lower on your body. How do you find a fragrance that's going to suit you? Look, I think it's very much trial and error. Um, you, you are... You tend to go towards fragrances that suit your personality, though. I have noticed that. Yeah. You know, if you're very sporty and outgoing, then you tend to go for more zesty, citrusy fragrances. Do you want to tell you, I'll tell you what I have and yeah. tell me if this suits my personality. Okay. I've got two I'm wearing at the moment. Uh, jo Malone Sea Salt and Sage. Yeah. And the other one is, which is my go-to, is Dior Addict Au Fresh. Well, both of those are really fresh. They've got sort of, I mean, the Jo Malone is quite um, aromatic with that mm. sea salt. And the, um, the Fresh, the um, Dior Fresh, is very light and zesty and you are sporty and outgoing and outdoorsy so that does suit you. Excellent, you know, I have to talk like, about these. Oh look I get so excited about fragrance, you're going to have to stop me. Okay well let's, let's get into these because I don't want to run okay, out of time for them. Let's start with the lineup. where do you want to start? Uh, I want to start here, if I can get the lids off these things. No uh, one makes a fragrance that you can open really easily oh, these days. Oh, oh, look, oh hang on, oh, I got yeah. it. Oh, so Kenzo World, now this is this is a gorgeous fragrance and I have to oh, say nice. it's one of my favourites this season. Um, it's to celebrate the new design duo at the Kenzo um, uh, headquarters and it's actually mm. just so beautiful fresh but again with that beautiful woody peony and jasmine that is nice I like that um, this is a very Ooh. sweet young fragrance yep. very girly um, again it's still got that woody undertone with the patchouli but lots of light fruity fragrances at the top you. notes uh, Daisy um, Mark Daisy Jacobs. how pretty is that I you can know get the it never nice. ever fails to disappoint Daisy it's a classic this is a celebratory 10th anniversary fragrance uh, wild berries you know you can't go wrong it's fresh but again it's got a little bit of wood in it to, to keep it woody um dahlia divin you're going so fast dahlia divin Givenchy. this is their very very latest one called nude and it is 
absolutely beautiful. This smells beautiful. It smells yeah. nice and light and yeah. fresh. We've got to get through them before we run out of time. So nice and light. Uh, Valentino strawberry, you know, again fruity with um, patchouli, I think, in that one mm. as a base. Nice. Um, it's very oh, sweet. No, sorry, sweet. amber. Amber in that one with rose. Um, now, this was an example of a unisex Joe Malone, their latest English oak with hazelnut. Oh, so it's oat, it's got a really, really dry, woody, woody overtone, but it's so beautiful. And the la oh, oh, not dropping it at all. Never, never Get mind. Get that back in a minute. <laughs> um, and the Volgari, beautiful Volgari Goldia. This is the third um, invention in this Goldia mm. family. Yum. Very, very essential. This would be probably the, the fragrance to wear in the evening. Excellent. And quickly, this last one, very, very quickly. Look, Givenchy, gentlemen, I brought that in because that launched in 1974 and it's still going strong. This is the new invention of that that original. Um, this, again, an example has got iris and lavender in it. So I would wear that fragrance. Perfect. And so would my partner. Trudy, thank you so much. You do like your oh, scents. I, I can do. see that. I do. Now, for more Thanks, of Trudy's Mel. tips, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz. I can go get that lid from underneath the sofa.